What is going on guys, today we are looking at the brand new league player, a little bit late, I do add, but we did get stuck um, in snow, so that was always fantastic, but we are here and I thought, you know what, I still want to cover it because it does look another great objective, we've obviously got a right back, very much if anybody was playing the game last year, and again, Spanish right back, we had Bellerin last year, this year, we've got this guy, good Javier, obviously the Newcastle right back, 86 rated, not bad, 90 pace, 84 defending, 79 physical, 85 dribbling, and also 75 passing, which, to be honest, isn't terrible. For a free card, I can imagine what the objectives are saying in terms of kind of what we're expecting for him. We've got great acceleration, that is insane. Good sprint speed, um, shot power is actually quite nice for a right back. Good, good curve, short pass is decent. Crossing, right wing back style right here. Um, agility balance, 84-80. Again, not necessarily terrible. Um, reactions, ball control, dribbling, all good. Composure could definitely do with a little bit better. Um, defending, head and accuracy, how tall was he? 5'10", medium, medium. Yeah, I could, I could probably see that. Um, Stamina is fantastic. Strength could do with a bit of work. I, I'm thinking, um, let's have a look at football. I'm debating between an anchor or a sentinel. Because an anchor would give you 90, what, 99 acceleration and 90 sprint speed. But then it does give you some defending and obviously physical. Or we go straight out sentinel. And on footbin, people are saying anchor, shadow, basic, powerhouse. So anchor would give you 94 pace, 91 defending, 85 physical. Turn them into a 90 rated right back. Always good. Sentinel, since nobody's given that option. Obviously, it keeps the pace, but it does give you 84 physicality and 93 defending. So, obviously, you are losing... You're losing two strength... Uh, two uh, physicality or one physicality. No, just one physicality, but then you are gaining... Obviously, oh, you lose it. No, in fact, I, I apologize there. You are gaining one uh, physicality with an anchor, and you are losing it free defending with, obviously, the um, anchor instead. So, to be honest, not necessarily terrible. He has come from a 74-rated card, so a nice 12 upgrade. Um, unfortunately, we've only got injury prone on him. So, let's have a look at this objectives then. So pretty standard by the looks of it wins six games by a minimum of two goals using only premier league players in managerial masterpiece which to be honest we're normally kind of okay with that that is natural the only thing with that one is people will be leaving after one that's just naturally how it happens um score 30 goals with obviously a premier league player assist 20 so again they're pretty standard in terms of uh, the normal objectives as we've seen with obviously this guy um We've then got assist with a through ball in five. Again, very, very simple. And score with a volley using Premier League players in eight separate. So, to be honest, not necessarily massive. I think the only one out of all of these when you're coming towards the objectives is outside of the box. Because people know that sort of shot. With a volley... You can almost do it regardless of them knowing if you've got to do it or not because you can cross to anybody. With an outside of the box, you know you've got to shoot before you get into that box. So it is far too easy to mark, to just AI block, and just get in the way, basically. With volleys, it's a little bit more difficult to be able to stop it because if there's two players running in, you've got to be able to mark both and that. Unless, unless you're a pro, I suppose pros could probably do it. But unless you're a pro, you probably can't mark two people at the same time. I know I personally can't. But in terms of that, I think that's not necessarily terrible. The minimum amount of games you'll have to play is eight. But that is obviously if you do get a volley in every single one. And in at least six of them, you've won by two matches. So it is an interesting one. I think the card is, is definitely worth the grind again. I do like the fact that they are um, kind of going with different positions as well in terms of what you need for managerial masterpiece then so we'll have a quick look we just finished baku as well so very very happy with him um in terms of managerial masterpiece we need to go to friendlies and we will build a team quickly to kind of go through and show you what what sort of team you're looking for so we need a 77 rated um obviously that is max 88 or higher is only one one lone player if you need and obviously the bench has to be 75 only so if we go into our squads and we'll make a quick Premier League squad with obviously some of the better players that you obviously could use. So if we call it, um, we'll just call it BPL. I know it's not uh, Barclays Premier League anymore, but just for the easiness of this video. So I don't know if I've used a lot of my 75s. I think, yeah, I should have quite a few. So 
once we get all these in then we are looking at the rares obviously this will be kind of like the better team that you can use but more than likely will cost a little pretty penny because that's just naturally how it works with gold goalkeepers i would suggest 55 i'm trying to think i, I would suggest just going a little bit lower on the rating um i think if we're going to go for somebody dive in 80 that's really not that bad 55 speed good reflex but it's, that is probably your best bet really in terms of goalkeepers we know that they don't have like a a huge huge problem so oh that was perfect yeah fredericks is definitely the one there 91 pace at a 76 can never argue with that um in terms and i think tyranny would be your best chance here or Cornet. Cornet actually is going to be your best chance there in terms of centre backs. In fact, we will go to strikers just to see what we're kind of looking for. I will change to a 4 3 3 as I feel like that will be better. I feel like Antonio is probably going to be one. I would say probably Martial, maybe. Or if, let's hear me out, let's try this one because I'm thinking if people kind of uh, give up like some of the 75s here, you may be able to just creep in an 84 or two and I'm just kind of see who would be the kind of better one in each position. Probably go with you. Left wing, I'm thinking, I'm thinking Podence is going to be the one. Let's just double, double check with obviously the wingers here. So if we go left mid as well. Just to make sure that we're not missing out on anybody. Frazier's definitely not a bad shout. Um, I think that'd probably be about it. In terms of left wing common, Gray is not a bad shout. But I think I think Podence. I think, yeah, I think Podence would be the one I would personally go for. Obviously, 78. So we are trying to kind of be very good with your ratings. I would say... See, it's a funny one because I would say probably go with Saar rather than Traore just because I feel like he's got a bit more about him in terms of shooting. Then in the midfield, we're looking for a good box-to-box -box in terms of Ox. And then we want two we got. We want more of a defensive mid, if anything. So let's just quickly whack that to gold and just have a look at the CDMs we've got on the lower rated. Martin Niles, actually. Uh, Maiton. Ma Niles, we'll go with that. I've, I've probably butchered names. I'm going to go with him, and then the two centre backs. I think we've probably got actually a little bit to kind of play with here. 69 pace. Really, with centre backs, you are just looking mainly for a bit of pace, and obviously Holgate. And I can imagine God. Is it God? God. Uh, yeah, Godfrey. Yeah, that'd be about right. I think that's pretty solid. That takes us to 77 rated. Obviously, it has given us Werner, which is a big advantage. That, for me, would be your kind of your starting squad. And yes, I'm saying they are going to be a little bit more expensive, especially with the objective only just coming out. You'll probably find them, yeah, you'll find them for like 2k each at the moment. You might be able to snipe a couple, as you see here, for 1.7. There is a 1.5 as well. So that would kind of be my um, sort of team that you're looking for at the moment. Obviously, you've got to have the 75 benches and then everybody rare. And I think having that striker being so higher rated, but a very good striker, especially Prem, but then having a solid kind of team around around him that is going to help you massively in terms of the objectives just one last run through before we go um, like I said in terms of this it's just going to be about playing and just hoping that you score more than one um, obviously we've got to do the two goals so basically just score and hopefully they don't leave if they do you start again the next one is 30 goals 20 assists pretty standard that is just naturally progression based assist with a through ball again wide pass over the top wide pass just get it in easy win then finally we have obviously scored a volley my kind of best bet is kind of counter attacks maybe you kind of have somebody chilling at the back post little dinking i personally go with the lt which is the skill button the back button um, and then that will obviously give you a volley of some sort overhead or whatever it is kind of just easier if you've got that almost tap in goal that is what's going to be perfect. But let me know down below if you're going to be completing this guy in Javier. 86 rated, 90 with an anchor. Let me know down below. Like and subscribe on this video. Apologies that it is late, but we will get back onto it. And hopefully we have a good birthday tomorrow. Keep that in for anybody that's here next time. Peace.